the citizens of Athens, Thebes, and Sparta fought each other constantly. But when they were threatened by outsiders, they would bury their differences, join forces, and march off to fight their common foe. In 490 BC, that foe was the greatest empire on earth, Persia. The shipping lanes of the Aegean Sea are all that separate Greece from her worst enemy in the 5th century BC. The Persian Empire, the mightiest in the world, is angered by constant Greek attacks on its coast. Persia is vast, as big as the United States. Greece is no bigger than New York State. Persia decides to teach the Greeks a lesson. As her mighty forces set sail, the Greek way of war is about to be tested. In the greatest sea battle of the ancient world, the Greeks use their custom-made fighting ship, the Trireme. But first, the Greeks and Persians will fight on land. In 490 BC, an army of 25,000 Persians landed at the Bay of Marathon, confident of victory. Eleven thousand hoplites had left Athens to do battle at Marathon. While the city was undefended, a Persian fleet approached Athens. The toughest troops in Greece, the Spartans, refused to help their Athenian neighbors. Panic gripped the city. The Athenian phalanx must win at Marathon and win quickly. The security of Athens is at stake. The hoplites stared at the Persians a mile away across the plain. Then they broke into a run. The Persians thought it suicidal madness. The assault was so brutal, it carried the day. 6,400 Persians lay dead. But Athens was still at risk. The Persian navy was still closing on Athens. A message to resist at all costs had to get through to the city. But Athens and Marathon are 26 miles apart. The Greeks sent for the only man who might get there in time a runner named Pheidippides. Pheidippides set off on his legendary run, the very first marathon. As he delivered his message, he died of exhaustion. But he didn't die in vain. Athens took heart and held on until the army of Marathon returned. It's 490 BC, you join us in ancient Greece for what should be a memorable long distance run. That's right, John, the course starts right here at the Battle of Marathon. Oh, sorry. Uh, excuse me, guys, can you keep the noise down, please? It's live broadcast, mate. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Cheers. The course starts right here at the Battle of Marathon, where the heavily outnumbered Athenian troops look set to win an unexpected victory against the mass ranks of the Persian army. Now, this is the first time a 25-mile distance has been run. We should really give it a name, Steve. That's right, John. Well, the course runs from Marathon to Athens, so we should obviously call it an Athens. Although this is the Battle of Marathon, you're absolutely right, John. Let's call it an Battle. 
Unbelievable. I'm off to talk to the favourite to win. Hello, Fidepides. What do you think your chances of winning are today? Uh, pretty good, yeah. Feeling confident, given I am the only one running. <laughs> that would seem to stack the odds heavily in your favour. Can you remind us why you're running to Athens? Uh, to take the message back home that we have beaten the Persians. <laughs> now, the race hasn't even begun yet, and I can't help but notice that you seem a little bit out of breath already. Well, yeah, John, over the last couple of days, I've done a 150-mile training run to Sparta and back to ask for their help when the Persians landed. Wow! Do you think you got enough in the tank for another 25 miles? Well, there's only one way to find out. Wish me luck. <laughs> okay. And they're off. Uh, Fidipides making a great... Wish me luck. Good luck. Thank you. And they're off. Fidipides making a great start in first and indeed last place. Can't wait to see what happens at the finish line. This is the first time the course has been run, and what a challenging course it is. Phidippides really has a mountain to climb, well, a big hill anyway, as the route ends with a steep climb into Athens. That's certainly going to be a real challenge in the heat of the sun. Athenian athlete Phidippides is just about to finish the first ever 25-mile marathon run. Oh, marathon. That's a great name for it. Really. And here comes Phidippides. I have to say, the poor boy looks exhausted. People of Athens, we've won a great victory. I think he's dead. Horrible histories.